In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to close all of your tabs in Google Chrome. The obvious way to do this would be to just sit here and close each tab one at a time until they're all closed. And that actually does work quite well most of the time. But if you have a lot of tabs open and you want to close all of them at once, that could take quite a while to do. So you'll probably want to find a better option. And luckily, Timmy has a few options. The best option will usually be to use a feature in the right click menu in Chrome. So let's say you've got this Chrome window here and it's full of all these tabs and you want to close all of them. All you need to do is click on the plus icon here to open up a new tab and then right click on that new tab. So right click or two finger click on a trackpad on a laptop. And then in this menu that appears down the bottom here, there'll be an option to close other tabs. And if you click that, all of the tabs in this window, except for that tab you right clicked on will be closed. So if you didn't want to keep any of the tabs, you could open a new tab like Timmy just did and right click on that new tab. Or if you did actually want to keep one of the tabs in that window, you could just right click on that tab and then click close all other tabs on that tab. So you're keeping that tab open. But either way, you've now closed all the other tabs and you're only left with this one tab here. So that works really great most of the time, and it's the way Timmy would usually recommend. But if you have multiple Chrome windows with multiple tabs in each of them, it actually gets easier and more complicated at the same time. Let's say we have these two windows here. So we have this window with a whole lot of tabs, and we also have this window with a whole lot of tabs. If you wanted to close all of these tabs, but keep all of these tabs, you could quite easily just close this window and all of the tabs inside the window would be closed. So you can do that on Windows or Chrome OS. You just click the cross in the top right hand corner of the window and it will be closed. Or on Mac OS, you just click the red dot in the top left hand corner basically the same thing, just a different looking button. And now all of those other tabs in that other window will be closed and you'll just be left with this window and all of these tabs. But if you were to close this window as well to try and close all of those tabs, there are now no Chrome windows open at all. So depending on your settings, when you try to open Chrome again, it will probably reopen all of the tabs that were in that last window you closed. So in a sense, you never really closed any of these tabs because they're still here. So if you have a lot of different windows with a lot of different tabs in them and you want to close all of them, you can simply close all but one of the windows by clicking the cross. So, in this example, we have three windows with a whole lot of tabs in each. So we can click the cross and close two of these windows as easily as that. But now with this remaining window, we'll need to close all of the tabs in here before we can close the window. So the easiest way to do that is probably just create a new tab and right click on it and click close other tabs like we did before. And now you can close this window. And when you open Chrome again, it will just open with that one new blank tab because that was all we closed when we closed Chrome. So that's how that works. So if you have a whole lot of tabs in a whole lot of different windows and you just want to close them all and be back to completely fresh, that's how you can do that. Or another option is you could actually change your settings in Chrome so that every time you close the last window, it will just open up a new blank tab. 
so that you won't have your old tabs opening up every time you open Chrome. So to do that, you just click on the three dots in the top right hand corner up here, and then come down to the very bottom of this menu and click settings to go into the Chrome settings. And on this side menu here, click on startup. And now you'll set this to open new tab page. So now when you close Chrome and open it again, it'll open the new tab page rather than continuing where you left off, which would mean opening up all of your old tabs. You could also choose to open a specific set of pages if you wanted to, but that's really more of another video. But anyway, once you've changed that to open the new tab page, now we can open a bunch of websites if we want. So open a few different tabs and put different websites in each of them. Just for example, we might close settings because that's kind of not really much of a tab. So we'll open up those three websites like that. And now when we click on the cross to close this one and only Chrome window, so Chrome is now closed. When you click on Chrome to open it back up again, you just have this new blank tab. So now whenever you close Chrome and open it back up again, you just have this new fresh blank tab. None of your old tabs will be there. You don't necessarily have to do this if you don't want to. Timmy prefers to keep it set to continue where you left off so that you'll have all of your old tabs next time you open Chrome. But if you want to have a fresh start every time you open Chrome, and you don't want to have to manually close all of your tabs first, this can be a good way of doing it. But that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful to close all of your tabs in Chrome, no matter which method you used. And Tamil will see you in the next one.